Coast, uh, directed by Turner Gill and Ron as a quarterback. The Montreal Concord first on the board on that field goal by Kurtz and uh, Ron Lancaster as a quarterback. Pretty good drive put together by Turner Gill. Well, that's what he's got to do as a young quarterback or any quarterback starting a football game. You want to march the football down the field, and that's exactly what he did. He didn't get the touchdown, but he knows now his confidence level will be a little bit higher because after last week's game, he had to be a little demoralized. Well, I think when you were playing quarterback for the Saskatchewan Rough Riders on the first uh, possession, you'd like to put together a couple of first downs to try and determine what the opposition was doing defensively. Plus, it gets you into the game, and that's what they did with that drive. So Pow Pow now would like to put something together. He goes to the sideline, picked off. Harry Skipper has it, and he is taken out of bounds at the 43. Ray Elgard was the intended receiver. Well, what happened that Montreal defense has been known to play the zone defense. That's what they're known for throughout the league, and they played it to perfection. They just dropped back, and Harry Skipper sat back deep. And watch when the ball's in the air. They're in the zone, and when this ball's in the air, Harry Skipper will move up on it, which is a sign of a good defensive back. Now he'll come up right in front, makes the interception. Well, I think it's another manifestation that Joe Pow Pow maybe shouldn't be thrown so deep so quickly. He's got to get loosened up and get the feel for the game before he starts throwing that ball up that far. Bernie Gill rolling to his right. And Jeff Roberts with some good pursuit from behind with help from Eddie Lowe brings down the Montreal quarterback. Turner Gill just a little slow in heading back to that Montreal huddle. There's well, nothing I... like speed, Ron, when it comes to the pursuit on defense. And uh, one of the things that Jack Goda is so proud of is the speed and the aggressiveness of his linebacking core, and they showed it on that play. Well, that's right. This, and with Jeff Roberts back in the lineup, he missed the entire first half of the season because of injury. He's back into that lineup, and he is a big plus because he had an outstanding season last year, and you don't want those guys out of the, out of the lineup too long. Well, they may be missing Jeff Roberts for a spell because he is the player who was shaken up in tracking down quarterback Turner Gill, now being assisted to that Saskatchewan bench. So his spot in the lineup is taken by Dave Singh on this second and ten play. And Reed, good move to get away from the first tackler, and he comes very close to getting a first down. Stopped by Fran McDermott. When you swing, when you swing Reed out of the backfield like that, that forces a linebacker, number 42, Eddie Lowe, to cover him. Now watch, Eddie Lowe's got to come from the inside. He'll be coming so fast he can't stop. Reed cuts inside up. Good well, move. What you have to do in a situation like that, if you're going to cover as a linebacker, is you have to keep an inside perspective on him. You never can get to the outside of a back coming out of the backfield because he will do just exactly what he did, and that's cut back, cut it back up the field. And there wasn't time because it was a swing pass to get that inside pursuit over there, and he made the big gainer on it. The short yardage offense is out there for Montreal. They've got it. Hurdling his way to the 30-yard line was Dwayne Wilson. And the Montreal Concords on most of their short yardage situations this year have gone with Tony Johns as the ball carrier. But perhaps Joe Galat feels that Saskatchewan may have learned something from watching the way Hamilton defended on Labor Day. Well, what they did is they faked the Tony Johns. And then on a misdirection play, give to Wilson. And as you say, if, 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 John, if Jones has been there, man, they're going to take him away. First and ten. Turner Gill will run this one. And he dives to the sidelines very close to another Montreal first down. Say the first impression that you get watching Turner Gill roll out to this outside right here is that He's going to do what Joe Gallat has said that he has to do in order for this football team to be able to consistently move the football, and that's use his speed and his running ability. He does that to great advantage right here, but it looks like they came to play today. They got used to winning some games after a long season of not winning games, and then lost that game to Hamill and said, that was no fun losing that game last week. Let's get back on the winning side, and they come out here to play today. 
Boyd Fairbanks and Smith were out front throwing the blocks for Turner Gill. They try and set up the screen. It's picked off by Glenn Suter. Well, this time they had a man-to-man -man defense in the secondary, and they brought the linebackers after Turner Gill, and Glenn Suter will come up and cover that man out of the backfield, and when you can't see him, they intercept it. Well, watch, watch now. You're going to see the blitz by the linebackers and everybody. Now, he lays off the screen, which means Glenn Suter's up there to cover Wilson. He overthrows Wilson. Suter's right where he should be. If Wilson does catch the ball, he's in position to make the tackle. The guy that uh, I think really helped on that play for Saskatchewan was number 77, L. Johns. Getting in there and putting the pressure on him made him throw the ball over the top of Johns. Although Johns didn't even have his hands up in the air, he still had to throw it over the top of him. And when he did that, he threw it over the receiver and right into Suter's hands. So each side has come up with an interception. Glenn Suter countering the theft by number 26, Harry Skipper. And now Pow Pow throws deep down the sidelines, incomplete. It was intended for Stephen Jones. He was being covered by Andre Francis. Francis back in that Montreal lineup after missing last week's game against Hamilton. Yeah, they got to be happy to have him back. I know that uh, he'd hurt that knee in that Toronto game and just wasn't able to go 100% last week, but it's good when you can get your starters back in there, and Andre Francis has been there a couple years. Second and 10 for Saskatchewan. They are at their own 20. Montreal leads by a score of 3 0 with 5.48 remaining in this opening quarter. Swing pass intended for Denny Ferdinand. It's incomplete. Ever since that incident in the game in Winnipeg, where Ricky Barton pounced on one of those little swing passes that Tom Clemens had fired out into the flat. Teams are not taking chances with that loose ball. They're grabbing it. Well, they should. Every time that ball's on the ground, somebody should get it. And then let the referee make the right call and then go back and play football. But don't let the loose ball either. When you take a look out there, they're kicking now from the 20-yard line. And again, Montreal is going to have good field position. And the way they're cranked up, they're going to take advantage of this this afternoon. Bill Jones on the run, and he's brought down at the 45. So Montreal, again, will have good field position. Well, let me ask you a question. Coming into this ball game today, Pau Pau's been out for several weeks, and they, their young quarterback has been doing a pretty good job in there, Homer Jordan. With Pau Pau back and available to play, do you think it was a good idea to start him in there this afternoon, or would you have started Homer Jordan in there and let Pau Pau get the feel on the sidelines and then gone in the ball game? Well, I like to start the veteran. I think you start him and then you turn it over to Homer. I know Jack has confidence in either one of them, so let the veteran get his feet wet. If he can't do it, let's go to Jordan. Later. Turner Gill under throwing the intended receiver, Mike McTagg. It will be second and ten. Jeff Roberts back in there for the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Mike McTagg has certainly done a lot for the Montreal Concours this year. He's number 14, acquired in a deal with the Calgary Stampeders. He, of course, has handled the punting chores, and as Leo pointed out a week ago in our game from Hamilton, he has also run for a first down, passed for a first down, and caught a pass for a first down from punting formation. Wayne Wilson on the sidelines is taken out of bounds by Dave Singh. That will be a gain of five yards and a punting or perhaps field goal situation for the Montreal Concord. Well, they bring Dave Singh into the ball game to get that sixth defensive back in there. Then they played it man to man. And I'll tell you what, on second down and 10, Saskatchewan will give them a five yard pass every time. The 47-yard field goal attempt will be upcoming. Jerry Dottilio holding. Kick is good. So Roy Kirk moves the Concords into a 6-0 lead over Saskatchewan. 4-19 remaining in this opening quarter. This from Taylor Field in Regina. It's a 1.30 Eastern kickoff. 
Well, next week we'll see the Saskatchewan Rough Riders at home against the Edmonton Eskimos, and the following week they travel to Winnipeg to take on the Blue Bombers. The Rough Riders, at the midpoint of this 85 season, have, I think, as tough a schedule as any team in the league. Yeah, Jack Goder was saying last week that the eight games I think he's had, he started with Edmonton, then Winnipeg, Montreal, Edmonton, Winnipeg. I mean, that's tough. And then BC the week after that. So, I mean, this is the make or break part of the season for them. I think Jack knows about as well as anybody, though, that somewhere during the course of the year, you're going to have to meet all those guys. Sure. The season is half gone right now. His football team with Paul Paul back in there should be ready to play. So now is as good a time as any. Well, Jack said yesterday, to be successful, we have to have all our guns firing. And, of course, the big gun is Joe Pow Pow. His pass was intended down the sidelines for Michael Alarms, and it is incomplete. Andre Francis was step for step with him, and in Andre Francis and Harry Skipper, I think Joe Gallat has his two good corners as there is in the CFL. They have really played well this year. In fact, their entire defense has played well. It was their offense that let them down over in Hamilton last week, but you've got to give a lot of credit to that Hamilton defense, and especially their front four. They have got an awful lot of work out of those people. Again, Saskatchewan line up Elgard about 10 yards deep in that slot back position. He gets that running start, trying to time it perfectly as he hits the line of scrimmage, but the pass that time was intended for Craig Ellis. It's incomplete. What you see on this particular play, Don, is when that linebacker, Paul Gray, he gets jumping around in here. The linebacker move in here, but watch Steve Rocky come yeah. unblocked. And when he comes unblocked, Pow Pow has to throw that ball a lot faster than he wants to. But nobody's going to touch him. You got to get rid of it right now. And the other thing are those hands up in the air. You can't throw with any degree of accuracy when those hands are in your face. Penalty flag as Phil Jones takes that third down kick by Jerry McGrath. And it appeared as though Dave Singh had encroached upon that five yard area. Billy Jackson may have also been in a little too close, but it is a no yards call against the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Well, everything's going the Concord way right now. You know, they need to put the points on the board while they can. Pow Pow still isn't accustomed to playing yet. New yard. Saskatchewan number 45 on the run back. First down. Well, Billy Jackson was the man fingered by the officials. And it is a first down for Montreal at the 50-yard line with 323 remaining in this opening quarter. 6-0, Montreal in front. Celebrating his 30th birthday today has another first down for Montreal. Glenn Suter, the safety, came up to make the tackle, but they are going to Iraqi today. Something Hamilton did on Labor Day was take Iraqi away from that Montreal offense. And a good job by Turner Gill again. He comes back, steps up into the pocket, and then rifles it to Iraqi right on the numbers. And Turner Gill is, is really exercising good judgment in his release of the football today. The pitch to Dwayne Wilson, and he is met by three Saskatchewan defenders, led by Eddie Lowe and Billy Jackson. And we talked before about Joe Pawpaw on the other side of the line having to really settle down a little bit after being out of there for a long time, but talk about adrenaline flowing. You won't find two more aggressive, enthusiastic coaches anywhere in the world than Joe Gallat and Jack Goda over the sidelines. 